guys, so today I am doing a San Francisco to Los Angeles drive. We took the scenic route on Highway 1, which was 454 miles, and it took 9 hours and 20 minutes. The other route is um, 15S. It's the most direct route. It takes 6 hours and 16 minutes to go through, and it is 383.1 miles. This drive is called the Pacific Coastal Drive, but you can also call it the Santa Barbara Drive. So now I'm going from San Francisco to Los Angeles and we'll be hitting a few beaches on the way, like six to seven. And there's Half Moon Bay Beach, um, Monterey Beach, Fable Beach, Big Shore Beach, lots of them. So some of them have like big rocks or fables and white sand so i just want to see the white sand because i've never really seen white sand before and like those are like a little bit of the descriptions so we'll be stopping by some of those beaches they're like some very famous beaches and i'll be showing you them on the way so from san francisco to los angeles there's a beautiful scenic drive where it looks like you're going over the ocean but you're actually going on side of the ocean it's called santa barbara drive so i can't wait to get there because like i, I really want to feel like i'm on top of the ocean i'm on top of the world no i'm not okay but still we are going to be going to a lot of beaches on the way we are heading to one currently it's called montre state beach and then there's Pebble Beach, and then there's a 17 mile drive through Pebble Beach. I will be explaining more of those. Um, first of all, Pebble Beach, it's a really famous beach. Second of all, Montre State Beach, it has two separate units. And um, Pebble Beach, it costs, it takes two hours to get to this beach from San Francisco while Montreal State Beach it takes one hour and 50 minutes to get to it. This is a bit of the scenery we encountered along the way and needless to say um, there's lots of different types of scenery even though they're kind of close together. They all have different types of you know views and stuff. One is dry, one is super good with a bunch of trees like that you know but yes we are about there to Monterey State Beach just another I don't know but just a bit of time before we get there and I'm going to tell you a bit about Monterey Beach while we are driving there um, it does have two separate units, I did mention that, um, with three beaches along the southern shores of Monterey Bay. Okay, this is Monterey Beach. Um, showed a bunch of birds, there's a million here. But yes, starting at the number two city pier in Monterey, it's possible to walk north on the sand and visit all the beaches here. It's a delightful walk, I guess, from the northern beach to Monterey and back. It's about two miles each way, and the seaside beach is the northernmost of the three separate sections of Monterey State Beach. And this is the only part of the city of Seaside, California, that actually touches the seaside. You know, and this is Monterey Beach. You did see all the birds, didn't you? Like, it was pretty cool playing this because, yeah. But yes, now this is Pebble Beach and it has so many pebbles though, like literally. And it's an unincorporated community on the Monterey Peninsula in Monterey County, California. And here is where the 17 mile drive is, um, mostly. And 
Just another fact, to enter the 17 mile drive through the four gates, it costs $11.25. And you can pick up a map of the road's iconic sites. But now I'm just gonna show you all of these pebbles. There's a lot of them though. Pebble Beach is can also be referred to as Moss Beach. Because some, you know those plants, those things you see on the sand that look disgusting? Those are actually plants, but we call it moss, I guess. So moss beach. A bunch of birds behind my mom and me just running over to um, the water because, yes, I want to. But, like, the sand itself is cold, even though I'm wearing flip-flops. I can feel that it's really cold. And that's one of those things. That's This is why it's called Moss Beach. They're kind of plants. And I'm gonna be heading over to that giant, I don't know, peninsula, I guess. Not really a peninsula, but yeah. Okay, I'm gonna take off my flip-flops. Oh God, the water's cold. The water is so cold. I'm stepping on the rocks and I cannot step on this water. Okay, look at that thing in the water. Looks like a stingray or something buried inside, but it's a rock. Mm, also, here's a fun fact. It's the Pebble Beach is the only course to host USGA championships in back-to-back -back years more than once. So yeah, and you can see those little birds over there, zoom in, look at that, it looks so cute. Okay, the water was way too cold. I'm just gonna step on these rocks, I guess. Because if the sand is so cold, the water is 10 times colder than it. Just saying. It is. Like, look at all of these stuff. The rocks look bad, but that's only because of all the stuff on it and probably a few barnacles, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, seriously though, my feet are frozen. This is the start of our 17 mile drive. And to um, explore 17 mile drive fully, especially if you stop to take photographs and eat along the way, um, it'll take about three hours, I think. But yes, um, there's a bunch of stops here. Like, yeah, there's 17 stops here. We only went to like, I think 15 or maybe 14, but yes. First stop is Shepherd's Knoll. And then there's Huckleberry Hill. The third is Lynx of Spanish Bay. Fourth, Restless Sea. Fifth, Point Joe. Sixth, The China Rock. Seventh, The Bird Rock. That was one of the interesting ones. The eighth is The Seal Rock. It was another one of the interesting ones. Ninth, Fanshell Beach. It was a nice name. Tenth is Cypress Point Lookout. We went there. 11th is Crocker Grove, 12th the Lone Cypress, that was actually kind of cool to look at, the 13th is Ghost Trees, 14th is Visitor Center, 15th is the Pebble Beach Golf Links, 16th is the Cypress Point Club, and the last, not least, is the Ford Meadow. So... Those are like all the stops there are in Pebble Beach when you take the 17 mile drive. But yeah, take a minute to enjoy the scenery because like we drove for nine hours. You guys didn't hear this video is about like 20 minutes. You'll have that much to see the scenery. But yes, just take a minute to enjoy it, I guess.
How do you enjoy it? It was pretty cool, in my opinion. But yes, the sunset. Look at the sunset is coming in now. I'm so excited because I love the sunsets, especially when they're like this beautiful. Um, yeah. So, like, look at that. It's like there's t there's a line between the sky, the clouds, and the atmosphere beneath. It's just a gold line, a literal gold line. And there's light coming out of it. It's like our world is separated. And then there's a hole in our, there's a really thin line in our world. It's like kind of open and lights, so much light is coming out of it. Seriously though, it was stunning to watch. And this Pebble Beach, it has iconic golf courses. And it's one of the most scenic drives in the world. Just saying. But I feel like the sunset was my favorite for part. Like this exact sunset. It only lasted for a minute or two though. So I was kind of sad because of that. But other than that, I think... I think just seeing that sunset was kind of worth half our trip. And I guess playing in all those beaches was worth the other half of our trip. And this is like, look, you're literally on top of the mountain and you're looking at the ocean, which makes you feel like, you know, you're on top of the ocean. This was exactly what I was talking about before when you feel like you're on top of the world. It's like super cool how, you know, you can do all of this and it actually exists because all of this is super pretty. Like the sunset still hasn't ended, it's about to end. So, and from here you get the best view of it. That's what I'm like the most excited about because you get the best view of the sunset from here. Any normal sunset would, wouldn't have matched this, like, seriously. By the way, once we're done with the 17 mile drive, we'll get to the end of our day. And we'll start on part two of the drive. Which I'll be telling more on the beaches specifically. And not really just mixing everything up. So, yeah. I'm gonna keep watching this until the sunset ends seriously though like you can if you were here in real life you would feel the same way too but yeah i think that completes our drive and this beach is just it's quite close to our hotel i guess an hour or two i think since the sunset's nearly done just a little bit more the sunset to go see that small bulge in the middle it has all of those things okay so we're driving a bit more till we get there and the best part is you're communicating with nature not exactly communicating but like you're so close to it this is nature's making itself mountains next to the ocean the only man-made thing was the roads over here. Which did help a lot, I guess. But... I think in a few minutes we'll about wrap up our drive and then... You'll see what will happen. But, yeah. Like, Monterey State Beach, so many people visited, and then this 17 mile drive, it's literally worth it for the money, I guess, you could say. Well, I think that it's worth it, but I think your opinion should be the same once you went on the drive. But yes, it's kind of turning, the sunset did stop, and it's 
turning it's like evening night sometime between that it turned dark so quickly it was like day a minute ago and then now it's just like evening it just turned darker but yes who wouldn't want to be on a mountain facing the sea tell me one person that wouldn't but again, Pebble Beach is a famous one. Monterey Beach is also really popular, I guess. So we drove a bit, we reached a restaurant. After that, we drove a bit more and we reached our place to stay. We stayed at Pismo Beach, stayed there. So in the morning we got up, went a bit around Pismo Beach and then started driving again. That would be part two of our video. We did eat in a restaurant. This is the restaurant. And then we drove a bit more. We reached our hotel. This is a hotel. But I think that's all. See you in the next part of our Los Angeles drive. Tell me pretty lies. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me.